Today we've got round number four in the $5,000 mystery box challenge. So this is a total of 10 boxes between two companies, 500 bucks a box, five $500 Pop King Paw boxes, five $500 Smile World boxes. So after the first three rounds, I had the totals. So guesstimating without actually adding them up, Pop King Paul is around, I'd say $1,600 or so. But around number three, I hit the top hit in the Smy World mystery box. That was over a $1,000 pop. So after the third round, Smy World has around, I'd say, wow, um, 1,000, 2,021, 2,100? or so so they're up probably around 500 dollars more than pop king paul right now because i hit the top hit in their mystery box run which was a headless ned stark so pop king paul has quite a bit of room to make up in the final two rounds can he do it can he come back and win this two rounds left pop king paul is still the reigning mystery box champion he will go last the challenger but is now leading the competition will go first in round number four so in this one, once again, the Smile World, this one was the Smile Sunday Grill Mystery Box. This shipped on October the 4th. This Pop King Paul shipped on September 26th, literally like a week apart from each other. So values are should be very consistent with PPG. The top hits on this, the Red Skull, Headless Ned Stark, the Joker. Um, you had the Ghost Face, you had Freddy Funkos. This was... A guaranteed value box, spend 500, guaranteed 500 dollars back, two to four pops per box, five dollar box. Okay, details of this box. Here we go, two to four pops per box. I know last time with the headless Ned Star, that box had two pops in it. That was it, two pops, five dollars guaranteed. Actually, they're they're both guaranteed value boxes. First one, round number four. Since these are five dollar boxes. Every box has big grails in every single box. It just depends on who has the bigger grails. Who gives back the bigger grails for the money. So in this one, one, two, three, four pops in this box, okay? Here we go, first one. Everything is wrapped up. We have a Mr. Freeze, DC. The old or Legion of Collectors box, which is no longer being made now for several years. Nice pop. I don't think it's very expensive though, is it? I don't think it is. I've had that pop for a long time. Anything here that's in a stack or anything? No, there are no stacks in this box. Actually, my Headless Ned Stark, that $1,000 pop was in a soft protector, which is kind of crazy, right? A soft protector for a $1,000 pop? That's risky. Ooh, there's a nice one. Kill Bill the Bride. This was um, Uma Thurman, right? Um, um Thurman played the bride in Kill Bill. It's a nice pop. It's actually probably worth, I bet you, 100 bucks at least, if not more than that. Uh, the whole Kill Bill line is long vaulted. They're hard to find now. I actually haven't had the bride in a long time. Through the protect, this thing looks to be in very, very high grade condition, too. 2014 pop. Nice. Okay. First two fantastic pops. Here you go. Next two. We've got Papa Legba. American Horror Story Coven. I know that one is faulted. That I do know. Worth a little bit of money. I don't remember PPG value of this one though. 2014. Older pop ones again. Looks to be, once again, in fantastic condition. Very high grade, very high grade. Nice. Last one. Right now, I think the, the best hit in this box so far has been the Kill Bill. That's been the best hit so far. Here we go. Last one, Destiny. The Crota Ch oh, this is actually worth a little bit of money. It has really good PPG value on it. It's a very hard pop to sell though. Last time I had this thing, I had to send this thing for like six months before I could find a buyer. Very hard pop to sell for PPG. I ended up getting like maybe 70% of PPG value for it. Quite a bit less than PPG. 
But let's see BBD values. Let's see how I did. Mr. Freeze coming in at $65. Papa Legba coming in at 150 bucks. That might be pretty hard to get that out of it though. That might be kind of tough, but 150. The Bride coming in at 110 bucks. That will be very, very easy to sell that one. And last one, Crota coming in at 200 bucks. I spent 500, got back 525. So over guaranteed, I spent five, 525. So it wasn't like a massive, massive win, but I'd still say that was not too bad. Not too bad right there. So Pop King Paul's box is better bring some heat this time. You got a lot of ground to make up. Let's do it. Pop King Paul $500 box called the Monday Night Grail Mayhem box. Guaranteed value mystery box. All the details, 500 per box. Only six boxes total. I bought three out, out of the six. I bought half of the total boxes. Four pops per box. It says prices were taken as of 925. They shipped out on 927. Guaranteed value box. The top box was valued at $1,400 at the time of boxing. Each box will have one of the pictured pops which all range in value between $290 and $1370. So top hits, actually the first box, I got, got out the Beavis. The top hits, obviously the Glow in the Dark rever Reverse Flash, very expensive pop. Rocky Balboa, Zero Chase, Snake Plissken, and Ivan Drago. Top hits right there. Everything is 7.0 or better. Guaranteed value box. Let's see what happens. 500 bucks, round number four. Yeah, Paul, Pop King Paul has some ground to make up. He's down around, I'd say, $5 in value. He's got this round and one round left. As he usually double boxes, and he did double box. I know the Smile World box was $500 box. Uh, what was it four pops? All fantastic pops that came out of that, of that box. You ready to do this? Here we go. Does it feel very heavy? Not, it's not heavy at all. I don't really feel any like stacks there or anything. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Let's see what we got going on. Does not feel like there's any pop stack. There's usually pop stacks. You can usually, like pop stacks add usually a lot of weight in your box. Let's see, feel around. Okay, I have a, I have one pop stack. No pop armor. Here we go. And three soft protectors. First one. Bride of Frankenstein. Pop movies. Fantastic hit. Hot topic. Go in the dark. The packaging is worth 46 bucks. It's a 2014. Nine-year-old pop. It's a nice one. Next. We got Angel from Buffy the Vampire. That's the one you don't see very much anymore, right? That's an older one. Hard to find. 2014 coming in only only 39 bucks though but yeah this one is one you do not see very often at all you just do not see that pop anywhere next one also the salt protector yellow lantern batman fugitive toys exclusive 37 dollars this is a 2017 six-year-old pop so far all pops in this box have been vaulted nothing is still for sale and so these three right there are roughly eh, 40 of uh, them. Let's say 120-ish right there, around 120. This is a guaranteed value box. I mean, this pop here, minimum. It's going to be around like a $400 pop-ish. It's going to be a big one. You ready? What is it? It's going to be a big one. I got... Oh, the back says Rocky Balboa. Freaking sweet. The OG Rocky Balboa. How freaking sweet is that? Look at that. That is nice. Through the protector, it looks to be in pretty nice shape. I don't see any initial damage before taking out of the heart stack. It looks to be very, very nice shape. Let's see, PPG value day package is 440 bucks. Let's go ahead, let's see PPG value, all four pops here. Let's see what values have done. He might have gained a little bit of ground in this video, but not enough to actually catch up. First pop, Batman, Yellow Lantern, 27 bucks. Went down in value, $10. Pop 
Pot number two, we got Angel. 39 bucks, value on him, did not change. Bride of France, I come at 46 bucks, value on that one, did not change. And Rocky Balboa, worth 440 bucks, value on Rocky, did not change. So grand total of this box, looking at 552. So I actually got back more value in this box in the Smile World. Let me see the total of the Pop King Paul after round number four. After four rounds, Paul's at $2,183, just a little bit over what the box has cost me. In Smile World, I'm at $2,699. They cost $2,000. I'm almost $7 over what I paid. So right now, Smy's got a pretty big lead, like a $500 lead on Pop King Paul with only one round left. So pretty much the only way that Pop King Paul can take this, this series is if the final the final box box five has that glow in the dark reverse flash that's the only way that he can come back and take this it's because round three i got the top hit out of that box if i if i would have not gone top hit this would have been a very very close series it would have been just a matter of dollars apart it would have been very close but yeah you you hit that top hit it changes everything but yeah this is fun there's only one round to go one more round in this total of a $5,000 mystery box challenge. I'm about to go off like a weapon, fuel to the top, gotta fill the benches. In my thoughts obsession, I will not stop, no, I'm never